everyone. I'm So Yun Chung from the Korea Institute of Public Administration. Today, I will have a lecture about the impact of artificial intelligence technology on public administration. In this, in this lecture, we will review the changes after the introduction of artificial intelligence in the public sector. We will start with the review of the paradigm shift with the development of technology. Then, factors influencing the changes after implementing AI in public administration, and what the role of government and organizational strategies should be are discussed. This class has three objectives. First, you need to understand the process of changes in public administration with the development of technologies. Then you need to understand the expected changes in public administration due to the introduction of AI. The last, you need to think about the role of government and management strategies after the introduction of AI to the public sector. This is the structure of this class. We will start with the paradigm shifts in human society. According to Alvin Toffler, mankind has historically faced three turning periods, the agricultural revolution, the industrial revolution, and the information and communication revolution. At each turning point, Humans were able to develop with the help, help of tools. And now we are entering the fourth transition period, so-called the AI revolution. The forms of government have also changed from the state operating system centered on kings and nobilities to a modern government with bureaucratic characteristics and then e-government with horizontal and networked form. These are the stages of human development and tools. It steps up from the agricultural revolution to the AI revolution. In the agricultural revolution, the tools partially replaced human body parts. In the industrial revolution, the tools automated human manual labor. In the information and communication revolution, the tools helped not only the human body, but also mental fun functions. In the AI revolution, non-human tools like computers and robots can have a human brain. This picture shows the stages of human development based on the relationship between humans and tools. It shows that the roles of tools are either ancillary or automatic in the physical or intellectual domain in each revolutionary change. The form of government in the AI revolution era is intelligent government. An intelligent government, AI will cooperate with humans based on e-government. The government system will be fully integrated with the AI system to realize a smart government with high efficiency, high transparency, high decision-making quality, and low operating cost. And data, data collection, and data quality will, be, will become very important. The government will be a platform to encourage communication with citizens and provide optimized administrative services for individuals. The intelligent government can be divided into four areas, GovBot, GovTech, Policy Intelligence, and Public Intelligence, according to the criteria of automation, augmentation, back office, and front office. 
Policy intelligence is intelligence services for the government. Policy intelligence supports policymakers with accurate data and prediction result for decision making. There are four kinds of information that can be provided by AI. Artificial intelligence can also provide information for citizens' decision making, and it is public intelligence. GovBot is an automation of repetitive and trivial tasks. For example, simple complaints process, reporting and review of schemes and regulations to support the public officials so that public officials can focus more on important and critical tasks. GovTech is a service that makes it easier for people uh, to work with the government. Natural language voice services, chatbot, professional advisory services, and so on are examples. From now, we are going to review what kind of changes we will see after implementing AI in public administration. This slide shows where artificial intelligence can be used in the government. Various types of AI can be used so to solve different government problems. With the implementation of AI, there would be a lot of changes in public administration. First of all, in governance, data governance and algorithm democracy will appear. Collaboration with machines will be enhanced. AI will take former tasks and public officials will manage tasks that require planning function with creativity. AI will support improving the policy formulation process to easily catch up with what people need, and therefore, citizen participation also will be enhanced. Administrative dis discretion will be formalized based on the data-driven automation of administration. Government domain can be weakening because AI will take some of the work in the administration system, such as procurement, bidding and administrative licensing, adjudication, and government enforcement and regulation. Government discretion will be weakened, public officials' authority will be also reduced, and government integrity will be improved. And real-time analysis based on data provided by AI will make decision-making fast and accurate. Government organizations will be changed from network organizations to platform organizations. When AI is introduced, the size of government will become small and simple, and the structure will become horizontal. Also, the number of public officials will be greatly reduced because the AI system will replace a large amount of labor. Also, organizational operation will change from division of labor to collaboration. In addition, fairness of the organizational management process through AI improves job satisfaction and organizational commitment and enhances organizational effectiveness. This shows an example, example of the transition process of the government organization. It is the current government organization chart in Korea. There are a lot of ministries and bureaus under president. After AI is introduced, 
organization redesign will be necessary, and it will be done with the principles of simplification, cooperation, intelligence, evolution, and self-activity. Then, the size and the functions of government will be reduced. It is the government organization chart in 1948 when the first government was established in Korea. And this is the government organization chart of the Joseon dynasty of Korea. At those times, the size of the government was small because the society was small. But after AI is introduced in public administration, the government size will become small, even though the society is big and complex, because AI will take some functions of the government. And then, job redesign and HR system innovation will follow. Finally, the organization model with AI will have these characteristics. Government function and authority will reduce and location will be free. And several new types of organizations will appear and they lead to bureaucracy reform. In human resources, HR services will be optimized to satisfy individual civil servants and the needs of creative talents. HR planning will be more customized with the individual civil servant based on the AI analysis. In recruitment, digital capability will become important and AI will support selecting talent with digital capabilities. AI also helps making the recruitment process more fair and effective. AI can be placed in suitable jobs and provide optimized education and training with analyzing capabilities and interests of public officials. Also, performance evaluation will change from process-oriented to result-oriented. This picture shows how artificial intelligence affects recruitment. This can be applied to public sector recruitment too. When AI is introduced in public administration, citizen-centered customized service will be provided. This table shows examples of public service that AI can be introduced to. It is the process of government service development. The needs of citizens are self-divided into policy targets and customized service for individuals are provided. At this time, AI technology and database have become the basis of customized service analysis. Until now, we reviewed the changes after AI comes into the government. The government ex is expected to be small, but effective, fair, and democratic. Therefore, the government should be a problem-solution solu problem developer, provide personalized services, and be a data-smart government. For the management of the organizations, the government needs talents who have expertise in their field, as well as understanding of the software changes in the performance management system and organizational culture should be followed too. In this class, we have reviewed the changes expected in public administration after implementing AI. 
In the next module, we are going to study AI policies. Thank you very much for your listening and see you next time.